السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو گریڈ نائن بایولوجی کلاس وی ول ڈسکس ٹو ڈے ٹاپک سگنیفکینس آف میٹوسز وچ از مینشن ان یور چیپٹر فائیو سیل سائیکل آن پیج نائنٹی ٹو اینڈ نائنٹی تھری ان دس ٹاپک آف سگنیفکینس آف میٹوسز وی ول فرسٹ مینشن ہیئر دا مینٹیننس سیٹ اور نمبر It is the importance of mitosis to maintain the chromosomes in each of the daughter cells which are formed during cell division. Now, these daughter cells receive chromosomes that are alike in composition and equal in number to the chromosome of parent cell. How is it possible? As we know that if the human body has 46 chromosomes in it, 46 سکس کروموزوم ان اٹ اینڈ آل دیز کروموزومس آر سم واٹ ڈفرینٹ فرام ایچ ادر ان رسپیکٹ دیٹ دے ہیو ڈفرینٹ کمپوزیشن فار ایگزامپل آئی کین میک ون سیٹ آف کروموزوم ان فرنٹ آف یو لائک دس سو دیز ٹو کروموزومس آر ایکچولی الائک ان دیئر کمپوزیشن واٹ از دا میننگ آف الائک دے آر سیم دے ڈو ناٹ ہیو any difference among them or in them so in this case we can say that the mitosis actually not only maintain the number of chromosomes number of chromosome in any daughter cells and any new cell but also they are alike in their composition they are same and as it is they are actually transferred from their parent cell to their offspring that is the daughter cells Now we are going to follow some of the occasions in the lives of organisms where mitosis happens. So what are these main occasions? So we, we will start from here in the form of flow sheet. First occasion of the significance of mitosis occur or found in development and growth. So here I am writing the de development and growth. Development and growth. growth then we can see the significance or importance in another occasion that is the cell cell replacement cell replacement the third importance we can see in regeneration of parts or lost parts regeneration then the fourth significance of mitosis is seen in asexual reproduction asexual reproduction both in plant and animals first equation where we can see the mitosis is happening is development and growth in which the number of cells within an organism increases by mitosis This is the basis of the development of a multicellular body from a single cell that is zygote and also the basis of the growth of multicellular body. For example, consider this, it is a zygote which is a single cell having a nucleus in it. Now after the division of karyokinesis that is the division of nucleus and cytokinesis that is the division of cytoplasm, this zygote which is a single cell structure develops or changes into multicellular structure that is the first two cells are formed where with or having nucleus and some content of cytoplasm in it so this structure is basically called embryo so this is happening due to mitosis so mitosis helps any cell in their development and finally what happens that after some time this embryo further divides by mitosis and form a multicellular structure in this way that is the multicellular structure or the rounded structure with many cells is formed and this structure then fur further develops into into many cells or multicellular body and after this formation we can see that the tissues are now forming inside that this collection or mass of cell is finally forming tissues 
inside the cells these are different cells which are forming collect collective or mass of cells and these mass of cells are now given the name tissues so first i am completing the structure and then label this part that is tissues are formed after or development of different cells now this structure is developed into different organs that finally inside the cell or a multicellular body has to be appeared in front of you and this multicellular body with some organ inside it finally called and again tissues are present all around it is uh, simply called a multicellular body we are not giving any name yet and afterwards when is it finally develops into its last form then a whole individual is formed that is a man a baby or a bird chicken chick kid cub so lot of examples you have so individuals are formed and finally this whole process of development is completed which is occurred through mitosis now the next occasion in which mitosis can be seen is cell replacement cell replacement what is actually the cell replacement means actually in some parts or some areas or organs of the body especially inside the human cells are constantly sloughed off and replaced by new ones that one cell is dead one cell completes its life span and then the new cell will be regenerated instead of that cell and what are the examples of cell replacement inside the body of human especially these are skin cells some cells of the digestive tract that is the digestive system of the human body the so digestive tract and the red blood cells are also involved in it red blood cells now two first two cells which are called the skin cells and that are also called epithelial cells and the digestive tract cells they are constantly sloughed off finally they are being damaged and uh, by mitosis the new cells are being replaced by these cells in the similar manner new copies of the cells are being replaced so exact copies of the skin cells and the digestive tract cells are formed again in case of red blood cells what is the life span of red blood cells first we must know about it that how much time the life span mean how much time red blood cells can alive so this lifetime or this this life span is only 4 months what is the meaning of 4 months of life span ke red blood cells sirf चार महीने जिंदा रह सकते हैं ये इनकी जिंदगी का अरसा है स्पेन मीन जिंदगी का टाइम जितने अरसे वो जिंदा रह सकते हैं एंड वॉट हैपन आफ्टर फोर मंथ्स दैट दे आर ऑल्सो डैमेज दे आर ऑल्सो डिग्रेडेड डिसअपियर एंड दे आर फाइनली डेड दे विल बिकम डेड सेल एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ दीज डेड सेल न्यू सेल स्टार्ट फॉर्मिंग न्यू सेल स्टार्ट फॉर्मिंग विद न्यूक्लियस and then this nucleus in the mature case has been lost so this is the whole story about the cell replacement that one cell is damaged what if the one cell is dead then new cells are formed instead of that so this is this process of cell replacement is basically done through mitosis the third point is regeneration third point is regeneration now what happens in regeneration and how does it occur through mitosis so by the name it is re re means again re mean again generation mean produce form so if something is produced again and again it is called regeneration 
so some organisms can regenerate that is again produce their parts of their bodies and the production of new cell is achieved by mitosis for example uh, i'm drawing here the sea animal and it is called it is called starfish that is the sea star sea star Asteria robins scientific name i think familiar with this name because you have read it in grade 9 so it is a, it is an example of regeneration because unfortunately if this animal has been lost its one arm then what happens it will remain four oral arms these are called oral arms oral arms which are used for capturing food what are the oral arms for capturing food so in case if one arm is lost what happens to this animal it will be dead no actually what happened that at the surface that is at this surface So some cells start reproducing that is start dividing themselves one cell divides into two then two cells divide into four in the similar manner the repeated div division that is the div repeated mitosis occurs and finally there is a formation of a of a oral arm that is that has been lost Uh, due to any in case of any injury or any accident so this lost arm is regenerated and it is done or it is occurred through mitosis so this is another important significance of mitosis another phenomena in which we can see the process of mitosis is asexual reproduction what is this process called asexual reproduction now what is the meaning of a in this word a a means without and sexual mean without the involvement of male and female cells so without male and female cells these are also called gametes so reproduction is a kind or type of process in which without male and female cells new offspring are produced which are the exact copies of their parent now what is asexual reproduction and how does it happens as i told you the meaning and the definition of asexual reproduction now what is the involvement of mitosis in it so some organisms produce genetically similar offspring to asexual reproduction in which the mitosis is the mean the basis of asexual reproduction that is without mitosis this process cannot happen it can be clearly seen in some of the organisms which are found in water fresh water and the first example which i am going to quote here is hydra what is hydra hydra is basically the fresh water animal it lives in fresh water and it is animal actually in hydra how the process of asexual reproduction occur it is also occurring through mitosis in this way first of all look at the figure of the hydra then i'll able to explain you properly so these are the tentacles of hydra through which it captures food and finally the, the the whole surface of the hydra is in front of you now some cells which are present at the surface of hydra for example these are some of the cells which are present at its surface what are they going to do the cells undergo mitosis and form a mass that is the collection of cells which is called bud so they these 
cells at the surface start reproducing themselves or dividing themselves and finally form a mass in this way. So finally a mass or collection of cells form a bud. What is this structure in the hydra? It's called bud. Now what happened to this bird or this bird? Mitosis continues in the cell of bird and it grows into a new individual, new individual of hydra. How does it happen? That this bird detaches from the hydra in this way. So this is the bird that is separated from its parental animal parent, parent and finally comes in this way, come in this shape and start reproducing through asexual reproduction that is occurred through mitosis. That is the further and repeated cell division occurs in this bird. And afterwards, after some time, what happens that it actually develops or grows its tentacles just like its parent and finally grows into a new individual. So this is the parent hydra, parent hydra and this is the new offspring which is produced. We can also call it daughter hydra. That is the new hydra which is formed that is called the daughter hydra. So in this way the process of budding is completed in the hydra and what is budding here? The formation of bud by asexual reproduction which is occurred through mitosis and the repeated mitosis will occur uh, due to which the budding process will be completed. Method of asexual reproduction also occurs in plants. So asexual reproduction in plants. This is the second part of asexual reproduction that is the four significance of mitosis. So you have to include that in that description. So asexual reproduction in plant basically occurs through a process which is called vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation in which the meaning of vegetative is basically the vegetative parts vegetative parts of the plants and these parts of the plants are stem, roots, leaves and branches. So all these parts as we know that are not involved in sexual reproduction. In which reproduction? sexual reproduction that's why they are involved or they are responsible for carrying out asexual reproduction in plants that is why the term used here vegetative now what's the meaning of propagation propagation mean to spread something spread scattering peljana pelau pelau peljana Vegeta vegetative propagation basically depends upon mitosis. So mitosis is also the base or the mean of this process. Without mitosis, this process cannot happen. Some of the plant which can do this process are basically including, I'm giving some example, for example, potato, mint, onion, garlic. So these are some of the plants which undergo mitosis and reproduce new plants by means of asexual reproduction. In the end, I am going to discuss the next topic of mitosis which is based on errors in mitosis. Meaning of error is disturbance in the control of mitosis and in Urdu it is called Yani kisi bhi wajah se mitosis ke amal mein ya uski control mein koi kharabi ya nuks paida ho jai.
तो इस पूरे प्रोसेस को डिस्क्राइब करने के लिए यहाँ पर टॉपिक है हमारा एरर्स इन मिटोसिस एरर्स इन द कंट्रोल ऑफ मिटोसिस मे कॉज कैंसर अगर खुदा न खास्ता किसी वजह से मिटोसिस के कंट्रोल में कोई खराबी या एरर पैदा हो जाए तो उससे एक बहुत ही खतरनाक बीमारी प्रोड्यूस हो सकती है जिसे कैंसर कहते हैं ना ऑल सेल्स हैव जीन्स एज वी नो जैसे कि हमें पता है कि तमाम सेल्स के अंदर जीन्स होते हैं वॉट आर जीन्स जीन्स आर द यूनिट ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस एंड दे आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कंट्रोलिंग द टाइमिंग दे आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कंट्रोलिंग टाइमिंग एंड द नंबर ऑफ मिटोसिस दैट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स मिटोसिस हैज टू बी हैपन द नंबर ऑफ मिटोसिस एंड वॉट इज द ड्यूरेशन फॉर मिटोसिस तो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ under the control of these genes which are present in the cells sometimes mutation occur in such genes what happens to these genes that mutation occur now what is mutation it is basically the sudden change sudden change in the dna level and as we know that uh, basically gene consist of dna so in dna level any change or sudden change can happen which is given the name mutation so due to this mutation what happens that uh, the process of mitosis or the cells continue to divide which result in the growth of a abnormal or uh, production of abnormal cells occur which are called tumors so what are tumors they are abnormal cells which are produced due to the uncontrolled division of cells so abnormal cells are produced now these tumors are produced in two ways that is they are of two types number 1 benign tumors and number 2 malignant tumors malignant tumors so first case of the tumor or type of tumor is called benign tumor what are benign tumors what are benign tumors so as long as tumors remain in their original location that they will not invade into the other tissues then they are called benign tumor so what is the significant property of benign tumor that they can be treated and they will remain their original location they do not move from their original location kya matlab hua iska ke benign tumors tumors ki wo type hoti hain jo zyada arsa apni hi jagah par jahan wo produce hote hain wahi rehte hain wahan se wo move nahi karte wahan se wo dusre tissues ko affect nahi karte jiski wajah se khuda na khasta ke ye tumor दूसरी जगह पर फैल जाएं या स्प्रेड कर जाएं तो इन दैट केस वी हैव अनदर सिचुएशन एंड दिस सिचुएशन ऑफ द ट्यूमर इज कॉल्ड मैलेग्नेंट ट्यूमर मैलेग्नेंट ट्यूमर्स सो व्हाट आर मैलेग्नेंट ट्यूमर्स मैलेग्नेंट ट्यूमर्स आर बेसिकली द मोस्ट सीरियस सॉर्ट ऑफ ट्यूमर्स सीरियस केस ऑफ ट्यूमर्स एंड दे आर ऑल्सो गिवन द नेम कैंसर्स cancerous tumors they are responsible for producing cancerous cells cancer disease of cancer so if i define the malignant tumor then it will be that if the tumors invade other tissues so what will be the definition of malignant tumor if tumors invade what's the meaning of invade दाखिल हो जाना दाखला दूसरे टिश्यूज में दाखिल हो जाना या इनका परमिट होना या दूसरे टिश्यूज के अंदर भी फैल जाना सो इफ ट्यूमर इन वेड अदर टिश्यूज अदर टिश्यूज देन दे आर कॉल्ड मैलेग्न ट्यूमर्स दे आर ऑल्सो गिवन द नेम कैंसरस सेल्स और कैंसरस ट्यूमर्स यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट कैंसरस ट्यूमर्स 
Another important thing about that, they are called the cancer cells and these sort of tumor can send cancer cells to other parts as well, where they form further tumors. And uh, with the production of more number of tumors, the spread of diseases occurred and this phenomena in which the disease of cancer is spread throughout the body of the human, it is called metastasis. Metastasis. What is the meaning of this word metastasis? Metastasis means spreading of disease. Which disease? Here we are talking about cancer. So spreading of disease due to malignant tumor is called metastasis. So this is the end of our lesson today. Thank you very much for listening. Allah Hafiz.